to be using Zuko's touch command to get him to ring the potty bells. Potty bells are a very useful tool to, for your dog to let you know they need to go outside to go to the bathroom. Um, they usually hang right here on the door so you can see our potty bells right here. There's lots of different variations on them. But Zuko gets to ring them to let me know he wants to go outside. This is nice because some dogs do have a tell, like Zuko, where he's sitting by the door because he has to go potty, or maybe they'll whine or bark if they need to go outside. But sometimes we just get too distracted and we don't notice it. Maybe we're cooking dinner, or we have a party going on, and we just don't notice their usual signs. If they ring the potty bells, it's a nice, easy way for them to get our attention in a way that we can notice even when we're a little bit distracted. So we're going to be teaching Zuko to ring the bell using his touch command. We've taught him touch already. You can watch the previous video to learn how to use the touch command. But this is a great tool for us to form more difficult behaviors. So touch looks like this. Touch. Good. I say touch. His nose hits my hand and he gets a treat. Nice and easy. Um, now I'm going to use my hand by the potty bells to get him to ring the potty bells when I say touch. Stay. Good. Okay, touch. Good. So when he hits my hand, the bells ring, and he's starting to associate using his nose to ring the potty bells. I like to use noses to ring potty bells instead of paws. You can see some scratches on our door here from dogs that do use their paw to ring the bell. And we want to make sure that we're keeping our door as nicely painted as possible. So teach them to use their nose. It's just gentler on your door. So again, I'm going to stay Tell it, remind him to stay, put my hand behind the bell, touch, good boy. And he's very excited, he knows he gets a treat, so he likes to do it. Okay. Good, so I'm going to put my hand here, touch, good boy, good. As soon as his nose touches, he gets that treat. So once we taught him to ring the bell, we're just going to have him do that whenever we go outside. And then he starts to learn that ringing the bell gets him through the door. Now I want to make sure that we're using it when we go outside for potty breaks, not for going outside to play. So if he rings that bell, he gets to go out for a short potty break, and then he comes right back in. If we want to go outside for playtime or a long walk, we'll usually use a different door, or just not ask him to ring those bells before we go out. So once he's learned to ring those potty bells, it's going to look a little bit like this. Good, touch. Good, so he rings the bell. Okay, and we let him outside. Once we leave him out there for a little bit, he can come back in, but we want to make sure we have those door manners. So he's going to sit before he comes back in through the door. Zuko. Okay. Good boy, Zuko. That's very good. So that's a brief introduction to using touch to transition your dog to ringing the potty bells. Once they're touching the bells consistently with your hand behind them, you can start to phase out your hand and get them to ring that bell on their own, even without a command, and eventually they'll learn to ring them when they need to go outside, not just when you're letting them outside.